Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the topic bandwidth of multi-stage amplifier. This topic is present in the subject electronic circuits one. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about the bandwidth of multi-stage amplifier. The bandwidth of multi-stage amplifier is always less than that of the bandwidth of single-stage amplifier. Before going to see about the derivation, let us see the definition of the bandwidth. Bandwidth of the amplifier is defined as the difference between F2 and F1, that is F2 minus F1, where F1 is the lower cutoff frequency of an amplifier and F2 is the upper cutoff frequency of an amplifier. Frequency response curve and bandwidth of single stage amplifier is shown below. In this graph, we have the bandwidth. Bandwidth is obtained with the help of upper cutoff frequency and lower cutoff frequency. And the difference between the upper cutoff frequency and the lower cutoff frequency is known as bandwidth. It is indicated in this diagram. Cutoff frequencies or half power frequencies. The frequency F2 lies in high frequency region, while the frequency F1 lies in low frequency region. These two frequencies are also referred to as half power frequencies. Since gain or output voltage drops to 70.7 percentage of maximum value. This represents a power level of one half the power at the reference frequency in mid frequency region. 3 dB frequencies. The voltage gain at F1 and F2 is less than 3 dB of the maximum voltage gain. Due to this, F1 and F2 are also called 3 dB frequencies. Multi-stage amplifiers. Multi-stage amplifiers are amplifier circuits cascaded to increase the gain of the amplifier. Two or more amplifiers can be connected to increase the gain of an AC signal. The overall gain can be calculated by simply multiplying each gain together. That is AV dash is equal to AV1 into AV2 into AV3 and it goes on etc. It is represented in the diagram shown below. Here the input is applied to the first amplifier and we are obtaining the output at the nth amplifier. The overall gain is the product of the individual voltage gains. This is indicated in this diagram. Bandwidth of the multi-stage amplifier is shown below. In this diagram, we have bandwidth of the single stage amplifier and bandwidth of the multi stage amplifier. The bandwidth of the multi stage amplifier is lower when compared to the bandwidth of the single stage amplifier. This is represented in this diagram. Let us see the overall lower cutoff frequency of multi stage amplifier. Let us consider the lower 3 dB frequency of an identical cascaded stages as FL of N. It is the frequency for which the overall gain falls to 1 by root 2, that is 3 dB of its midband value. The equation is 1 divided by square root of 1 plus FL by FN square to the power N is equal to 1 by root 2. If we simplify the above equation means we get root 2 is equal to square root of 1 plus fl by fl of n the square to the whole power n. That is if we taking nth root on both sides we get 2 power 1 by n is equal to 1 plus fl by fl of n the square. If we further simplify the above equation, we get 2 power 1 by n minus 1 
is equal to FL divided by FL of N, the whole square. That is, taking square root on both sides, we get square root of 2 power 1 by N minus 1 is equal to FL divided by FL of N. Therefore, FL of N is equal to FL divided by square root of 2 power 1 by n minus 1, where FL of n is equal to lower 3dB frequency of identical cascaded stages. And FL is the lower 3dB frequency of single stage, where n is the number of stages. Now we see the overall high cutoff frequency of multi-stage amplifier derivation. Let us consider the upper 3 dB frequency of an n identical stages as fh of n. It is the frequency for which overall gain falls to 1 divided by root 2 that is 3 dB of its midband value. The equation is 1 divided by square root of fh of n by fh square the whole power n is equal to 1 by root 2. If we simplify the above equation means we get root 2 is equal to square root of 1 plus fh of n by fh the square to the whole power n. Squaring on both sides we get 2 is equal to 1 plus fh of n by fh the square to the whole power n. Taking nth root on both sides, we get 2 power 1 by n is equal to 1 plus fh of n by fh the whole square. Therefore, 2 power 1 by n minus 1 is equal to fh of n by fh the square. Taking square root on both sides, we get square root of 2 power 1 by n minus 1 is equal to fh of n by fh. Therefore, fh of n is equal to fh into square root of 2 power 1 by n minus 1. Where fh of n is equal to upper 3 dB frequency of identical cascaded stages. fh is the upper 3 dB frequency of single stage and n is the number of stages. Now we conclude the bandwidth of multi-stage amplifier. In multi-stage amplifier, FL of n is always greater than FL and FH of n is always less than FH. Therefore, we can always say that bandwidth of multi-stage amplifier is always less than that of bandwidth of single-stage amplifier. 